Yeah. You're, you're 11, it was your birthday yesterday, so what was it like getting all those birthday love from fans, from your friends, from everybody? It was just amazing that they care and it was like one of my best birthday presents ever. And you get to celebrate it out here on the Energy Tour. Yeah. Now tell me about your family, you got your family here, we saw cousins, mom, we finally got to meet mom. Yeah, well my family is uh, from Arizona so they came and watched me and my grandma, yeah, it was really nice. It was nice. Let me see that watch real quick. I see you got a G-Shock too. Yeah. Nice. Lewis has one too. Now, now, did you have to? Did you get that for a birthday gift, or did you get that with your allowance? Well, I got it from Christmas. Oh, Christmas. Yeah. Now, do you get an allowance, or do you get? How does it work? Well, my mom doesn't make me do chores because she thinks I would make a mess. So. <laughs> you would do worse than it started. I just uh, work for it, like walk the do dogs and not get money, but she like buys me stuff I don't know. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. And so, um, what was the coolest birthday gift you got so far? Uh, I got a Hollywood hat, a snapback. It was really nice. Okay. Yeah. A good birthday. Yeah. And what is it like, I saw little Jade, what's it like having Jade with you today? Or this weekend? She She's a really good sister, but sometimes she can get a little crazy, but she's adorable and I love her. Okay, cool. Now, obviously, uh, you representing the Filipinos out here. What uh, what's it like when all you Filipinos on the Iconic Boys get together? Well, we always like go to each other's house or go out to eat like dim sum. Okay. And I love the shrimp noodles. It's really good. Now, who, which, uh, which parent makes the best Filipino food? Um. Well, my dad's uh, mom. She's really good cooker, and uh, my dad's dad. He's really good. Like he makes barbecue and okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, have you been watching The Voice or American Idol? Um, no. Oh, you haven't? Okay. So on American Idol, there's a girl named Jessica Sanchez. She's Filipino. Uh, she's Filipino and Spanish, like you. Oh uh, yeah. Mexican. Sorry, Mexican, like you. And then uh, there's Chessa on The Voice, and she's Filipino from Hawaii. So the Filipinos are taking over, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's uh, what's what, what advice would you have for them? Cause. Uh, you know, you're in the spotlight all the time. You have a lot of fans. So what, what would you say to them? Just good luck. Just keep following your dreams and you'll get there. Now, have you got a chance to go to the Philippines yet? No, I want to go, though. What, what, did, what have you heard about it? Like, what has your family told you about? Um, it has good food. Good food. And uh, it's a long trip. And it's a long flight. Yeah, and a lot of my family's there. And there's beautiful beaches. Yeah, like beaches? yeah I love it. Have you seen it on a map and have you been like, oh, my family's from there? Yeah, like always in school I told my teacher my family's from there, yeah. So not only is Julian half Filipino, you're half Mexican too, huh? Yeah. So, uh, do you know any Spanish? Uh, a little, because I take Rosetta Stone at my school. Okay, I'm mad at Rosetta. So, so tell me a line that you remember, or a word. Uh, un hombre. I forgot. You said a man, right? Yeah, un hombre. Uh, oh, hombre is uh, hungry. Yeah. And then eats huevo. I don't know. <laughs> you eat eggs. Okay. <laughs> okay. You, you get in there. You get in there. So d is your mom an insane cook? Like, do you have really good Mexican food? Well, yeah. She always, like, cooks tacos that are really good and quesadillas. And now you're a big hip-hop dancer. You go real hard. Does she ever try to have you throw in a little bit of that, you know? Salsa or? I had a jazz solo last year and uh, it was like the theme was like I gotta be me so I did like a salsa a little okay yeah. you're gonna have to show us a little bit later we're gonna get you on camera giving us some salsa okay <laughs> okay you promise and um, what how, how is your grandma on that side is she cuz cuz are you guys really into family yeah um well my, my uh, grandpa just passed away a few days oh. ago and a couple days ago yeah and um, he didn't get to see me dance on this tour, so oh. it meant a lot for me. So I dedicated this uh, performance to my poppy, oh. and she she's really depressed, but she it's good that she came and watched me. That meant a lot to me. Oh, that that'll make your grandma happy. And you know what? You know your grandpa's still watching from above, huh? Watching you dance. Yeah, he is. Oh, well, we're sorry. I'm sure that sure everybody supports you. I'm yeah. glad you were able to dance for him, though. Mm-hmm. And then let's see. Lastly, have you ever been to Mexico? Oh yes, a lot. You've like been to every summer, before I had dance, I would go to Mexico and rent a condo, play in the beach, and water slides. It's so fun. Okay. What what part? Do you know what part? Um, 
Puerto Penasco. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you are you are uh, traveling all over then. <laughs> yeah. All right, we just got to get you to the Philippines, and then you you see both sides of your family. Yeah. All hopefully. right. Hopefully. Yeah. All right, so we are signing out with Mr. Julian, aka Hollywood, and uh, yeah, tell them their status has just been updated. Your status has just been updated. Bam.